Hey guys, welcome back to Paracord Planet. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a floral pattern paracord bracelet by C by S Paracord on YouTube. So I'll link to their channel in the description. This one's awfully similar to some of JD Lenzen's fusion tie designs, but I think this is an original to C by S Paracord. Let's get started. So this one's going to take eight feet of paracord. I've got two different colors, four feet of each. If you're really experienced at tying the diamond knot in a small amount of cord, you can probably take half a foot off of each one of those colors for a total of seven feet. I've got colors Air Force and Dark Brown. Air Force is very similar to Goldenrod, it's just a little bit less shiny. So we'll begin by finding the middle of our cords. And in one of them, I'm gonna use the brown. We're gonna tie a snake knot just to keep things in place while we get started. So to tie a snake knot, we just wanna make a loop so I'm going to do right over the left, and then that cord around the back, and back over to the right. And then take this left cord, and bring it underneath, find the end, and bring it down through here. Hold on to this one and tighten it down. And we just want that hole at the end to be big enough to fit a diamond knot through. So generally, if one of your fingers fit through, the diamond knot will too. Then we'll grab our second color and just put that right in between our two brown cords. And then to lock that in place, we're going to cross our brown cords with the right side cord going underneath the left. Next, we're going to take those yellow cords and cross them through, just like if we were doing a four strand round braid. This yellow stripe here is going to be the top petal, and now we're going to make the side ones. So this right side cord, we're going to bring it over the brown cord and then back to the middle underneath. This left one, we're gonna go underneath the brown cord, over the top, back to the middle. Like that. That right side cord is coming up. Left side cord is going down. So we'll cross those over each other again. And then right in the middle of that, we're gonna have our brown cords cross again. So just like that. Tighten that down and then also tighten down the yellow. Should look like this when you're done. Now we'll cross those yellow cords through the middle again. Just like before, that bottom cord should go to the right. And now we're just gonna do a couple instances of the round braid. So now we'll cross the brown cord cross these again. So now we've completed the bottom petal of our first flower and the top petal of our second one. So we need to make the sides again. So just like before, the right side is going over our brown cord, back underneath to the middle. Left side cord going underneath the brown cord and over the top to the middle. And then that right side cord is going up left side cord going down. We can kind of cross them over each other like this. And then in between that, we'll cross our brown cords again. With that right side cord going underneath. Pull all of those cords tight until it looks like our first flower. You might have to kind of wiggle those side petals into place. To complete our second flower, we're just gonna bring those yellow cords crossing again. We'll keep repeating that pattern until we get to the end of the bracelet, and then I'll show you how to make the rest of that closure. All right, so I did enough weave to go around my wrist just want to go until it meets that loop that we did at the beginning. And then I'm going to do a diamond knot closure at the end. Um, I often like the toggle knot better than the diamond knot, but we want to end all four of these cords. So I'm just going to run the, the yellow right through the middle of our diamond knot. So I've got a binder clip on just to keep those out of the way and to keep them from unraveling. And then I'm going to make that diamond knot in my hand. So we'll go through that pretty quickly here. but 
we go through that in more detail in some other videos that we'll link. So I've just got one chord coming through two different spots in my hand. I'll take this right side one, make a loop, and then fold that upwards. So then with our loop, this side is going underneath. Now taking that next chord, we can go underneath the other end to come around and go through here. So over this first one, pick up that middle stripe and go underneath it, and then out that other side. So now we've got this pretzel, that's called a karak bend. Karak bend, I was corrected on that a couple times. I don't know my Welsh very well. Irish? Welsh? Now I'm just get, digging myself a hole. Okay, moving on. <laughs> we'll take this end up here and go around this standing end, this one attached to our bracelet, to go up through the middle. Same with the other one, moving around counterclockwise, go past that standing end and up through the middle. And now before we tighten this down, we also want to run those yellow cords up through the middle as well. So. I'll take my binder clip off and just bring them up through the same place that we pulled our other ends. And now when we tighten this down, it's not gonna tighten quite where we want it. I like to tighten it first and then kind of slide it into place by adjusting it later on. I just find that easiest. So gently pull on all the ends here that disc in our hand that kind of folds backwards this way to form the circle shape that you see now. So now it's slowly coming into shape. Just want to get any loose loops out of it. Just feed them through the knot until they come out one end. So there's our loose diamond knot. Now I'm going to begin bringing that down to the end here. <laughs> it's kind of tangled on the end, but I think that'll kind of right itself once we get there. I kind of deconstructed the end of my bracelet here. So I'll kind of put that back into place. We had these cords crossing. There we go. Now our yellow is in the middle again. So I'm just gonna put the binder clip back on there so that doesn't come undone as I'm working. And we'll begin by pulling these ends through. I'm going to kind of tighten it down more as I go through. This might be kind of hard to see in the brown color, so we'll speed through it. So there our diamond knot is all tightened down. And now we can basically cut the ends right where they are, melt that against, and our bracelet will be done. There we go. Doing a diamond knot closure like this always leaves some waste because it takes more cord to tie the knot than it does after it's tightened. So here's what I have left over from my eight feet of cord. <laughs> my ends weren't quite even, but I've got about a half a foot on each of the end of those. So if you're really experienced at tying this knot, you might need less cord to tie it in, but my eight feet ended up being just about right. So there's the finished bracelet. I hope you get a chance to make this one for yourself. If you do, be sure to post pictures on our social media. We'll put links to that in the description along with the supplies for this project. Thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you next time.